open questions and answers related to California legislative ethics. Does the revolving door limitation apply to legislators and staff alike? Under Article 4, Section 5 of the state constitution, it says that the legislature shall enact laws that prohibit a member of the legislature after 1990 from lobbying for compensation as governed by the Political Reform Act of 1974 before the legislature for 12 months after leaving office. However, there's no such limitation in the constitution or statute that is applicable to legislative staff. Also note that the revolving door prohibition applies for lobbying for compensation and before the legislature. So the executive branch can be lobbied, for example. Can lobbyists communicate by phone or text with assembly members? Under assembly rule 117.5, while on the assembly floor during any session or while serving on a committee during a legislative hearing, Assembly members cannot use cell phones to make or receive calls or send or receive text messages from any lobbyist. Have both houses adopted a formal standards of conduct for their members? The Senate has adopted an official code of conduct for senators, but the assembly has not. Nonetheless, both houses have extensive ethics and conflicts of interest rules, and both are bound by constitutional and statutory ethics rules as well. Does the $10 gift rule, which has been in effect since 1974, apply equally to lobbyists and lobbyist employers? No, the monthly $10 gift limitation is imposed only upon registered lobbyists. Lobbyist employers have a yearly gift cap in excess of $590 today, which is adjusted annually based upon a cost of living increase. Can only a court of law remove a legislator from office? Under Article 4, Section 5A1 of our state constitution, it actually says that each house of the legislature shall judge the qualifications and elections of its members, and by roll call vote entered in the journal, two-thirds of the membership concurring may expel a member. May legislators accept any income from a lobbying firm? No. Members of the legislature are prohibited from knowingly receiving any salary, wages, commissions, or other similar earned income from a lobbyist or lobbying firm, or from a person during the previous 12 months who has been under contract with the legislature. Can legislators accept any honorarium? No. Members of the legislature are prohibited from accepting any honorarium. Can legislators be paid to represent someone before an executive branch entity? Nope. Members of the legislature are prohibited from knowingly accepting any compensation for appearing or taking any other action on behalf of another person before any state government board or agency. Now, there are a few exceptions that you should note. Is a legislator who's an attorney prohibited from practicing law? Nope. Uh, a member of the legislature who's an attorney at law may practice before any court or before the Workers' Compensation Appeals Board and may receive compensation for their work. What happens if a legislator has personal interest in pending legislation? A member of the legislature may not participate by voting or any other action on the floor of any house or in any committee or elsewhere in the passage or defeat of legislation in which that member has a personal financial interest with a few noted exceptions. When does a legislator have an interest that is in substantial conflict with the proper discharge of his or her duties? When the legislator has reason to believe or expect that he or she will derive a direct monetary gain or suffer a direct monetary loss by reason of his or her official activities? What are prohibitions imposed on legislative employees? An employee of either house of the legislature is prohibited during the time that he or she is employed from committing any act or engage in any activity that's prohibited by the ethics laws. The provisions that are applicable to a member of the legislature are also applicable to any employee of either house of the legislature. Are there any exceptions for legislative employees? Yes, for example, the law does not, prohibit it, uh, does not prohibit an employee of either house from serving in an elected or appointed office of a regional or local public agency. 
What happens with inducement of a legislator? No person can induce or seek to induce any member of the legislature to violate any provision of state law. What happens with someone who violates the legislative code of ethics? Every person who knowingly and willfully violates any provision is guilty of a misdemeanor, and every person who conspires to violate any provision of the legislative code of ethics is guilty of a felony.